Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I have three dream sequences to share today. The first one is related to a comment someone made on my one of my videos. And um, rather than um, trying to defend myself, I'm just going to share the dreams that God gave me that do so as well. And then the second dream sequence is related to um, two groups of believers I saw and the Antichrist. Um, and then the third um, dream sequence has to do with um, a connection I made with Katie Did from the Katie Did channel. And so um, let's go back. I just want to say real quick, I didn't see the Antichrist. I didn't see who he was, but I just knew that that was what the dream was about. So um, yeah, the commenter I had that first dream sequence, the commenter that basically it's defending me against, I would say, um, the commenter said something like all YouTube preachers and all preachers in general are just all talk. And um, I know that's not true from experience. There's a lot of hardworking people out there. And just rather, again, than defend myself, I'll let my very realistic dreams the Lord gave me last night speak for themselves. So in the first dream, I um, was visiting a dear auntie. And in my dream, she was in the hospital. And I brought her a corsage. It was a very beautiful flower. And I made her a big banner of encouragement. And in real life, she is healing from the loss of her husband, my uncle. And last night, I did call her to encourage her and remind her, you know, we are citizens of heaven and God is good. And our final destination destination is heaven. We know everything's leading up to that, just as it says in Revelation. So I also dreamt I made banners to encourage my husband and my sons before helping them clean up their messes and their toys and um, so that's all very realistic as well. So um, my second dream sequence was about um, the, the one regarding the Antichrist and I just was aware that there were two groups of believers and one seemed to already be in the presence of the Lord um, but they were still waiting for his second coming and then the other believers um, were having to hide from the Antichrist. And it was very apparent that, you know, they were in hiding, but that God was providing their food for them. And so, you know, they had good meals, even though, you know, they didn't take the mark out of their faithfulness to Jesus. They wouldn't worship the beast or take his mark. And so out of faithfulness to Jesus, um, they remained in hiding and Jesus was faithful to them and he provided their food. And it also seemed very clear in my dream that the children had already gone on ahead. Um, they didn't have to go through that. They were already experiencing joy. Um, in my dream, they had been like in a parade with all the colorful, you know, toys and party favor type things is just how it was represented. They were well protected and they were full of joy, kind of like, you know, when they're with an auntie that spoils them a lot or something like that. So the children were very blessed and the believers were um, provided for by the Lord. And then my third um, dream sequence is, um, it, was, it was a lot of fun because I had had, um, I had connected with Katie Did from the Katie Did channel just briefly on her last video and in the comment section. And it, I don't think it's a coincidence that the, another dream the Lord gave me last night was um, related somehow to a dream that Kay, Katie did or Kay or Katie, sorry sister, had had quite a while back um, related to a semi truck and a pickup truck. And so in my dream, there was also a motorcycle thrown in. <laughs> and in my dream, the pickup truck was solid and sturdy and had a really good hitch. And so I thought, oh, well, maybe we could hook up the back of the semi truck to the pickup truck. Um, 
And so, you know, the semi truck was empty, so it wasn't very heavy. Um, but kind of in my own mind, it didn't safe, seem safe to fill it, you know, with people, at the very least, people with earthly bodies. Um, and so when I woke up, I kept thinking about it. I thought perhaps the motorcycle in the semi truck, um, we could, maybe we could put that back there or in the pickup truck. And that was just kind of representative of, you know, it could be maybe things are speeding up. It could represent just fun and joy in the Lord, um, just relaxing in the Lord. Um, and I thought maybe the empty semi truck could mean freedom from our heavy loads. No more weight on our shoulders, no more heavy work on our shoulders, a light and airy feeling of freedom and of rest. So praise the Lord for fun and joy, for rest and for peace and for divine connections that only God could orchestrate and make work. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And if you don't know Jesus, give your life to him today. Let him change your life and transform your life by his grace through faith in Jesus, by his Holy Spirit, and his forgiving, redeeming work on the cross. God bless you. Amen.